Hi everybody, how you doing today? This is Steve at the Guru Brew. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning LCD screens. You know, every time somebody points at the screen or they're eating food and it sloshes up and it gets on the screen or somebody sneezes, it makes those little speckled dots all over the screen. It can be real annoying and uh, especially when you turn the screen off, you can notice it. Now this also applies to the screens that are on laptops because they, they hold the same properties as a bigger one such as this. Uh, what I like to use to clean screens is products that are um, easily available uh, at uh, any store. Uh, this is the Philips cleaner and the main ingredient is really just water that has been uh, uh, purified um, although it has some properties in there that keep the water wet too. Uh, here's some different ones. Now this is a Philips brand and this actually cost about ten dollars but it came with this special rag too and this is a microfiber cloth that is specially designed so it won't scratch. You don't want to use paper towel and toilet paper or your t-shirt although your t-shirt would work good you want to make sure it's clean. This is an off brand that I actually picked up at a dollar store and it actually has the same ingredients as the, the Philips brand, although the rag that came with it is, I would say it's a microfiber cloth, but it's not as good as quality as the other. The trick to getting these things clean is to first of all, just loosely brush off any dust that accumulates on the screen. and um, any noticeable um, bumps you don't want to scratch them away because you're going to end up damaging now when you apply your cleaner it's best to apply the cleaner to the actual rag itself now if you spray the screen what happens is the fluid can get trapped up along this edge and it can actually seep in between the plates and it's not good news. It can actually stain your screen. I like to get the, the rag really wet with the cleaner and then I actually um, apply it so I can see it. Now I don't wipe it off right away because what I like uh, to happen is to dissolve anything on there that might be solid and so I'll leave it wet for a couple minutes uh, just like you see here and um, occasionally re-wet it just like that and it will actually dissolve any you know junk that's on there and then after it's been on for about a minute um, you want to turn your rag to a dry spot. Now this is the trick. You want to keep turning your rag just like washing a car. You want to go from the outside of the edges to the inside and keep turning that rag. You won't need any more spray at this point. All you're trying to do is dry it up and keep the streaks away. So you're gonna go from the outside to the inside like this now don't use your rag on the outside plastic or on the keyboard I know it will be tempting to do because you have a rag in your hand um, but to keep your rag at its cleanest you're gonna just want to use it for the screen again you're gonna start from the outside and you're gonna work to the inside now this cleaner does have a natural uh, tendency to evaporate quickly although it does not contain alcohol uh, modern cleaners don't have alcohol and it's suggested that you never use alcohol to clean your monitor. Now if uh, once the screen is dry, if you're still noticing smudges on there, you're going to want to head and reapply, uh, wet the rag, uh, make sure it stays nice and wet, keep it wet for about a minute and then wipe it to the center until it goes completely dry.
Now, of course, you're going to want to do this when the monitor's off. It's not a good idea to clean these when the monitor's on. Um, not that it's going to hurt the monitor, but what's going to happen is it's not going to be as easy to see uh, the, the smudges. Now, I'm pretty happy with the way that this one uh, worked out. It looks pretty good. Now, if you do have any extra little smudges, if you take a cotton rag, a soft cotton rag that's clean, you can always buff those out just slightly. You don't want to apply too much pressure because it will damage it. Now, when you're doing a laptop, it's pretty much the same technique as I've showed you here. Um, what do you use to clean your laptop I would, or your uh, LCD screen? I'd be uh, interested in finding out. Uh, leave it in the comments. Hey, thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.